Severe floods are continuing to affect Romania. Up to 25 people have been killed. Thousands have been driven from their homes. A week of heavy rain led rivers in the east of the country to burst their banks, causing untold damage to huge swathes of farmland. And the worst may not be over yet as more rain is forecast. This report from Jack Izzard. After more than a week of rain, the fields have all but disappeared. This should be Romania's agricultural heartland, but now the only way to get around is by boat, and the watery landscape is dotted with abandoned farms. More than 16,000 people are thought to have been forced from their homes by the flood. Romania's president came to show them his support, but could only offer little comfort. You have to abandon the idea that you can rebuild your house in this area. The government will send building materials, but you'll have to rebuild your homes in another area where the mayor will reassign you a plot of land. With more rain forecast for Sunday, people have been trying to shore up the rudimentary flood defences. But they came too late to help many homes. In this village alone, more than 2,000 people fled the rising waters. The clean-up will be a huge and expensive task. As soon as the weather will allow us, we will use water pumps to pump out the water from the flooded houses. We will clean the muddy water wells. We'll evaluate the damage, because if we want to request flood relief aid from the EU, we have one month to give exact figures. A disaster on this scale, which has paralysed infrastructure and ruined the harvest, would challenge any country. But in one of Europe's poorest nations, the government fears it will badly damage an already struggling economy. Jack Izzard, BBC News.